Hello guys, Gaming Limey here and welcome your faces and fingers back to episode number 33 of Better Than Venga in FM18 where we try and beat Arsene Wenger's record of 10 major trophies in his 22 seasons at Arsenal. Uh, we are in season number 2 and this has been a very bad season um, so far. Um, I wasn't going to play these games that I'm showing you guys today. Uh, we are going to go two Premier League games and they are straight after the Liverpool defeat in the FA Cup um, that you guys saw in the last episode. <coughs> Excuse me. If you guys didn't watch that, uh, make sure you go check that out. Um, we did win 6-1 against Porto and then we lost 5-1 against Liverpool. Um, I wasn't going to show these uh, Wolves, Bournemouth and Chelsea. I was just going to show you the next game against uh, Porto. But these have become uh, important games. After this defeat here against Liverpool, morale's been low. We are very poor. Um, the pressure on our back. Um, Wolves are actually in fifth place. If we look at the Premier League table, we have we lost to Wolves as well. Um, there's a, a five-point gap between us and Wolves. There's a three-point gap between us and Manchester United. So it's a, it's an important game. And then the Bournemouth game, they're down in 14th. But again, it's, it's a game that we need to be winning. And I think just to ease some tension, we need to be winning this game, winning the Bournemouth game, hopefully avoiding defeat against Chelsea. We're already through against Porto as long as we don't slip up. And then we need to go on a run of beating Reading, beating Leicester, beating Aston Villa, beating Stoke. And then maybe see where we are. Um, let's go into the team. This is the team. Made a couple of changes. Check comes in got check comes back in goal. I think Leno was wasn't very good um, against Liverpool. Bellerin, I've brought Chambers in for the lit. Um, I think he was poor as well. De Vrij keeps his spot. Kalajniak comes in for Kieran Tierney, who was awful. Um, Xhaka and Arthur, they play just because Aaron Ramsey and Suri is is not fit, nor is Jack Wilshere. So they are in by default, I think. I, was, I would have changed Xhaka out um, if I had somebody else fit. Martins keeps his spot. Mikatarian comes in for the dropped Meza Urzel. Uh, Dembele keeps his place and a Bamiang up top instead of Lacazette. I still think he's carrying a slight knock. Callum Chambers match fitness is not up to scratch, but that is fine. We do have uh, the Mateus De Litt on the bench. Um, also Jesse Lingard and Awobi come back onto the bench. Um, so let's get into this game. I think this is a must-win game for us. Otherwise, I think we could possibly be... If we don't finish in the top four, um, then we're in trouble. I think we might get fired. Because I don't think we're good enough to go all the way in the Champions League. I think we should get past Porto. We're already, what, 6-1 up on aggregate going into the second leg. Um, so we will be in the quarterfinals of the of the Champions League. Um, but going up against a Juventus, a Barcelona, anybody like that, um, we will struggle just because we cannot beat big teams at the moment. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I'm going to have to come up with some kind of uh, big game tactic where we just try and avoid defeat. Um, because we seem to have had, it seems to be a re reoccurring thing this season where we've had a, a run of three or four, five or six games where we're playing really well and we start to seem to hit some kind of form and then all of a sudden we play one of the big boys and then we lose. And we don't just lose, we absolutely get destroyed. Um... At the beginning of the season, it wasn't even that. It was that we were picking up losses against smaller teams. Like I think Wolves were actually one of the first teams 
that beat us in the first couple of games of the season or the first few games of the season and then Leicester did it Watford did it um we lost against those those smaller teams at the beginning of the season but now we seem to be actually beating them um but we can't even stand anywhere near the big boys like Chelsea we've got Chelsea coming up just before the Porto game um and we could be in trouble again there. We could easily get destroyed again because Chelsea are up there at the top of the league with Liverpool and we just don't seem to have any answers to them whatsoever to playing against those teams. Xhaka here, shoot. Yes, what a finish. A Xhaka boom from outside of the area. This is an absolute rocket of a shot by Granit Xhaka. He needed to have a good game here today. He, I think he was very poor against... I think Arthur and Xhaka were very poor against... Um, it's a good finish. Uh, against Liverpool. They didn't do anything in our midfield. They absolutely got run riot. Um, I was thinking about the tactics. It's a good effort. Um, the tactics for those big games. And I think I might go 4-4-2. Or maybe a... a a 4-3 wait no I can't think of it off the top of my head I'm not good with what things are called I'm just look good at what they look like um, I might go a flat 4-4-2 um, oof Mkhitaryan almost scored or I might go a 4 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one. that's what I was trying to say um, or if I've got my if I've got Ramsey and Suri, then I've got a bit more options because then I could play Suri as a, a holding midfielder and then Xhaka and Arthur or Xhaka and Ramsey or um, a combination of those four players as a 4-1 four, one, four, one kind of formation, um, if that makes sense. Encourage, give them a bit of a morale boost. That didn't do anything, Steve Bold. I think... Um, Moving on, if I manage to get stay as manager of Arsenal next season, um, I think we'll be looking for a new assistant manager. We've got a penalty here. Come on, Aubameyang, please. Please score. He hasn't been prolific with his penalties since I've taken over. He's missed quite a few. But he scored this one. It gives us a two-goal advantage over... Wolves, who have had an absolutely magnificent season, by the way. Their first season in the Premier League, just like in real life. But they've been absolutely fantastic in this game uh, so far. Again, I don't know whether to keep checking goal. He seems to be doing okay. Um, we'll see what happens. We might keep him in against Bournemouth. Um, hopefully, some of my players will get back fit. That's what I'm... We have had some very, very big um, injuries. Oh, Silva, good save check. See, that's what I mean. He, make, he does make saves. Sometimes he has a very good game. Sometimes he has a very bad game. And Leno seems to be having more bad games recently than good games. So check comes in. It's good to have the option, I guess. Um, and I guess that's why we brought him in and... So did uh, Unai Emery in real life to give some options and cover. Jelson Martins has just scored the third goal for Arsenal. See, this is what I mean. We can actually play good football. Um, I think, as I say, I was saying about next season, I don't know really what to do because we bought quite a few players and I think that didn't help. But the players that we've got are good enough. I think they are... Like uh, the uh, the lit Jesse Lingard was a good sign in. We got Dembele for next season. Martins is fantastic, um, and all this. So I think I only need. I think I'm going to spend. I think I said this before in previous. We're going to take Mikatarian off. Let's bring Jesse Lingard on. Give him a bit of a run out. Obviously, he can't play in the cup game, so he cannot play um, in that Porto game in a couple of week's time um what i was saying is that i don't think we need numbers 
we've got some good young players coming through. We've got Sessiong out, out on loan. De Vries just hit an absolute worldie from six yards. Absolutely unmarked. And look at him here. Here he is, De Vrij, unmarked, on the volley. See you later. It's 4-0 and we're cruising. Um, we've got uh, uh, Sessiong out on loan. We've got uh, Reese Nelson. Uh, oh, Jesse Lingard has just shot. It's deflected. It's gone in for an own goal. We are 5-0 up against our closest rivals behind us in the Premier League. It's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy how well we can play sometimes and how awful we can play in other times. I'm going to bring Iwobi on. I'm going to take... Just because he's not fit. Um, just because... Just to give him a run out here. Look, and now we're all averaging over 8 almost, apart from Aubameyang. Um, let's go. Keep going. What was I saying? Transfers, yeah. So I don't think we need like two or three players. I think that I'm going to spend big on one player. I think if we get 60 million, 80 million, whatever that transfer fee might might be, that transfer, the budget, I mean, I can't think of what I was going to say. Um, I think I'm going to blow that budget on one player and that one player I think is going to be a striker like a world class striker um, or half has just scored here with 6 nil up this is another own goal I think it was an Arthur three, a free kick yeah it was it was Arthur's free kick Huge deflection there. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And we are 6-0 up. See, this could have been a devastating game. But we've absolutely dominated. There's still 5 minutes plus injury time to be added on here. Jesse Lingard. Meza Ozil. He's going to have a go. Oh, he shouldn't have done. Um, yeah, so maybe a big big name striker or a big name center defender just to hold cover for De Ligt when he's not playing well um I don't know I'm not 100% sure that's even if we are if we manage to stay on as Arsenal manager um that's it it's all over we win 6-0 against fifth place Wolves Xhaka Abamyang, Martins, De Vry, and then two own goals. And the difference between us and Wolves, and we stretch our uh, points difference as well between the two. And could we close Ch uh, Manchester United? We might be doing that. Um, I will see you guys for the Bournemouth game. So here we go guys for the Bournemouth game. I'm not making any changes. There's a couple of changes on the bench. Um, Feuchberg and Jack Wilshire come onto the bench. But for the starting 11, we are going to pick the same team that started the game against Wolves. Because if it's not broke, why fix it? That's what I say. Hopefully, um, I don't really care about Luis Enrique. Um... Hopefully we can get another big win. Um, yeah. I don't think Manchester United play until the next game. Uh, until later on today. Um, so we could and should, as long as we don't lose this game, go above them. Um, we actually caught up with quite a bit of goal difference because of that 6-0 win against, um, against Wolves and earlier on uh martins is complaining about some knee ligaments but he says he can play through it so we'll see what happens we'll probably give him till half time and then assess his situation here is Xhaka, who opened the scoring that's a great ball of bamiang it's fallen to dembele and usman dembele has poked it home he has been the a star for us um 
towards this middle part of the season on loan from Barcelona. Um, he's actually his loan has been extended uh, till next year, so he will be with us all of next year as well. Um, but I do think they've got a a uh, a bring back clause as well. So I've got a funny feeling at the end of the season, if he continues to to play for us and and do as well as he's doing, um, I think he might be on his way back to. Can you hear my cat? My cat's crying outside my door. Um, he might be on his way back to Barcelona. And Jelson Martins has come off injured here. That's not good news for us. Um, we're going to bring Jesse Lingard on to play out wide. We're going to put him... Uh, he's okay as an inside forward. He's fine. Uh, we could swap Mikatarian and him around, actually. I might do that at halftime. Because Jesse Lingard, I think, prefers to play in behind the striker. And... Um, Mikatarian played out wide for us on that wide right side. What a ball great by Jacka. Oh, and what a ball by Jesse Lingard. And Usman Dembele gets his second goal of the night or of the day. I think it's daytime actually. And that was lovely play. Abamyang picks it up on the halfway line. He plays Mikatarian. Mikatarian finds Jacka. Jacka with a superb pass to uh, Lingard. And Lingard fires it across that six-yard box, and Dembele is there to tap it into a pretty much empty net. And we are 2-0 up right on the stroke of halftime. In, I'm not going to make that change. I am going to keep uh, Jesse Lingard out on that wide right. Um, let's say I'm very happy with the things are going. Keep it up. Um yeah, we was looking for two wins out of this, uh, out of these two games, and it does look like we are gonna do that. I didn't think we would be as convincing as we was against Wolves. I thought we was gonna struggle in that game, um, but we made that look easy. Um, if there was gonna be a six-one uh, or six-nil in one of those games, I would have said that it would be the Bournemouth game before we started recording today, but. Uh, I'd be I'm happy with three points. All we need to just keep keep plugging along, keep getting three points when we can, um, and finish as high up in this league as as we can. We've got what ten games left to go. There's still thirty points to be to be won. Maximum of thirty points. We are still we're not a million miles off of. Liverpool and Chelsea, but I don't think they're going to drop points. I know uh, Chelsea tied with West Ham. I'm actually going to make a couple of changes here. I didn't see how fast the fastest game was going. Let's bring Lacazette on. And... I'm going to bring Mkhitaryan off. Actually, let's bring Jack Wilshere on just to get him some game time in his legs. We're playing him as a, as a more advanced... Um, Midfielder, he's played hardly any games for us this season. Um, I think he's still wanted by um, Manchester City, but they haven't come around with him. They didn't come in January for him, um, but we'll see what happens in in the summer for Jack Wilshere. I'm not a hundred percent on keeping him. I don't really, we don't really need him, and he's not playing games. So if we can get 30 million for him then that's money in our pocket um actually Callum Chambers has played well in these two games I know I've dropped uh the lit um that's a good ball Jesse Lingard unlucky defender got right in the way of that shot we'll see my cat's still crying he's only crying guys because I shut the door on him and I shut him out of my uh, room where I record so he's sitting outside the door just crying because he wants to come in and see me I will see him straight after um, I finished recording this episode and probably give him a treat and that's probably why he's crying right now because he knows he's going to get a treat here's Jesse Lingard Granit Xhaka, Jack Wilshere good effort, good save uh, by Begovic we are 4 minutes away from full time here um, and this has been again a nice 
fairly easy game. Jesse Lingard has picked up a knock. I can't make any more changes, Jesse, so you've got to stay on. Four minutes of extra time. We played half of that, or three minutes of that now. Um, Callum Chambers wins that head up. And there is full time. Um, yeah, so Usman Dembele had an absolute fantastic game today. He's probably man of the match, is he? Yes, he is. Yeah, Two goals and 8.8. .8. I think Jesse Lingard played very well as well. Xhaka and Arthur, very well. Okay, so two very good games here today. Um, if you did like this episode, guys, please leave it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.